Hi there! Welcome to our video on units used in physics, dimensional analysis, and significant digits. In this video, we'll be discussing the importance of units in physics, how to use dimensional analysis to check the consistency of equations, and how significant digits are used in calculations. Units in Physics First, let's talk about units in physics. Units are an essential part of physics because they allow us to measure and compare physical quantities accurately. Units are used to describe everything from distance, time, mass, and energy, to name a few. The International System of Units (SI) is the standard system used in physics and is based on seven fundamental units, including the meter, kilogram, second, ampere, kelvin, mole, and candela. Fundamental Units of SI The meter is the SI unit of length, the kilogram is the SI unit of mass, the second is the SI unit of time, the ampere is the SI unit of electric current, the kelvin is the SI unit of temperature, the mole is the SI unit of amount of substance, and the candela is the SI unit of luminous intensity. Derived Units of SI There are also derived units of the SI, which are combinations of the fundamental units. For example, the unit of speed is meters per second, meter per second, the unit of force is newton, n, which is kilogram meter per second squared, and the unit of energy is joule, j, which is kilogram meter squared per second squared. Dimensional analysis. Now, let's move on to dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is a method used in physics to check the consistency of equations. The basic idea is that each physical quantity has a dimension that can be expressed in terms of the fundamental units. By analyzing the dimensions of the quantities involved in an equation, we can check that the equation is mathematically correct. Example of dimensional analysis. For example, let's say we have an equation that relates distance, delta x, speed, v, and time, t, given by delta x equals velocity times time or dx equals v. We can analyze the dimensions of each quantity involved in the equation. The dimension of distance is L within the square bracket, L. The dimension of speed is L upon T within the square bracket, L, T. And the dimension of time is time T within the square bracket, T. By multiplying the dimension of speed by the dimension of time, we get length L within the square bracket, L, which is the dimension of distance. Therefore, the equation is dimensionally consistent significant digits finally let's talk about significant digits significant digits are the meaningful digits in a number they represent the precision of the measurement and determine the number of digits that should be reported in the final answer the rules for determining significant digits are as follows all non-zero digits are significant zeros between non-zero digits are significant zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant Zeros to the right of the last non-zero digit are significant if a decimal point is present. The trailing zeros are not significant if the number is without a decimal point. Example of significant digits. For example, let's say we have a measurement of length that is 3.45 meters. The first digit, 3, is significant because it is the first non-zero digit. The digits 4 and 5 are significant because they are also non-zero digits. Therefore, the measurement has three significant digits. If we perform a calculation with this measurement, the result should also have three significant digits. That's it for our video on units used in physics, dimensional analysis, and significant digits.